Assalamu alaikum students, this is Farwa Batul, your O-level computer science instructor and welcome to another video of chapter number 8 programming. We are doing activity 8.6 that is related to iterations and loop structures. So we are done with this activity using Python as my programming language in the previous video and here in this video I will be using Visual Basic. Yes, I will do this activity using Visual Basic as my programming language so let's quickly see what is the activity about in the high level programming language that your school has chosen to use write and run two short programs one using a count control loop and the other a condition control loop they should each repeat 10 times incrementing the loop counter by three and outputting the value for each iteration okay so here what you have to do Number one, you will be using count control loop, loop. In Visual Basic, we are using for loops as our count control loops. That is based upon your counter value. And number two is your condition control loops. Condition controlled loop. Here you can write down in any one type of condition control loop. Either you can use precondition loop or a postcondition loop. Okay, so what I will be doing, I'm using a precondition loop that is one of the type of condition loops. And in Visual Basic, we call it while loop. Okay, so these are my loop structures. Now the next thing is, what is actually the thing or the task that you have to do using these loop structures? So, the task that is to be done is divided into three main things. First is repeat it 10 times. So, you need 10 iterations for each loop that you will use. Number two, increment your loop counter by three. So, let's suppose the counter has some value. So every time you have to add 3 into its previous value. The third thing is you have to show the output value of the counter. Output value of counter will be displayed to the user in each iteration. So let's quickly move towards the first type of loop that is the count control loop. I'm showing you the syntax for for loop and we will also see it live using a visual basic compiler so the syntax here will be write down for and then start your counter with a value one equals one then specify the range one to twenty eight why i am saying one to twenty eight because if we start our counter one so for the first iteration it will be one for the second iteration, since you need 10 iterations for this loop, it will be incremented to 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 will be the counter value in iteration 2. For third iteration, it will be 4 plus 3, 7. For the fourth iteration, it will be 7 plus 3, 10. For the fifth iteration, it will be 10 plus 3, that is 13. In the sixth iteration, it becomes 13 plus 3, that is 16. In the seventh iteration, it becomes 16 plus 3, that is 19. And in the eighth iteration, it becomes 19 plus 3, 22. In the ninth iteration, it becomes 22 plus 3, that is 25. And in the 10th iteration, that is your final iteration, it must be 25 plus 3, 28. So that's why the counter value has a range from 1 till 28. Your values will go from 1 to 28. So you can see my range here that I am specifying in my loop. Counter starts from 1 to 28. And next is write down the step word. And mention here the number of times you want to increment the counter. So it's written increment your town counter by 3 in the activity. So write down 3 here after a step. 
It helps you to increment the value of your counter by 3 in each iteration. Inside the loop, you have to mention a condition of your output statement. Not the condition actually, it is basically the output statement that is being written inside the loop so that you can see the counter value that is incremented by 3 in each iteration. So in Visual Basic, we write it console.writeline and inside the round bracket, mention the counter that you want to show the value of. So the value of the counter will be shown to the user in each iteration when this output statement will run. Then you must write next keyword that indicates the end of your loop or this will help you to go to the next iteration as well. Okay, so I hope that everything is clear to you. What will happen here? The counter will start with a value 1. It will go inside the loop. When the loop will run, you will see for the first iteration, the counter value is 1 on your screen. Then you will see next. Next means that again, it is going to see the value for the counter after incrementation. It becomes 1 plus 3, that is 4. So 4 is going to be your next value for, in, for sorry, 4 is the counter value. In the second iteration, so you will see it 4 in your second iteration. So this is actually the expected result. Let me quickly show you this thing in Visual Basic Compiler. Okay, so look over here. I have made a bookmark for my Visual Basic Compiler. I'll quickly open this. Okay, here we go. I'll just close this window and I am deleting this output statement that is written by default here. Okay, quickly writing down my syntax for count control loop for let's initialize a counter value from 1 to 28 then write down step 3 which means that in each iteration it its value must be incremented by 3. Okay. Next, inside your loop, you must write your output statement console dot write line in order to see your result or the value of the counter in each iteration. When you are done with this, just go down and write down next. This next command is going to help you for the next iteration. Now let's run this small program for the count control loop. Let's wait for the result. Okay. So here it says an error that counter is not declared and it is very right. If you are using some variable you must declare it in Visual Basic. So we will write at the top of our loop dimension dim counter name and it is an integer value. So this is, sorry for this, it must be integer. This is the declaration of your counter variable. You cannot use a variable without its declaration. Now let me run it again. Okay. Now you can easily see that your compilation is successful. So look over here. It starts from 1. Then it is incremented to 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19, 22, 25, 20. So this is actually the expected result. Now let's move towards the second type of loop that is a preconditioned loop to do the same task. Okay, so if you want to do the same thing in a condition control loop, first you have to use a while loop. While loop for this, I'm just deleting everything and writing down the syntax for while loop and visual basic. While loop. Okay, so what will you be doing here first? 
declare the variable that you must use dim counter as integer then next is use the while keyword this is the start of your loop write down counter must be less than equals to 28 in order to iterate put a condition that must be true for your iterations so you want your counter let's initialize the counter in the beginning put a value 1 into it then this condition says that your loop will run un while the counter value is less than equals to 28 it means that it will run from 1 to 28 now inside the loop what you have to do you have to display the counter value so you must write down console dot write line this is the output statement to show us the value of the counter in each iteration and next you must write the increment statement so that the counter sorry it will be counter equals counter plus 3 because in while loop you don't have any step keyword here that will increment your counter it's not there so that's why we have to write down the increment statement within the loop to end the while loop just write down end while after finishing the code that must run inside the loop just write down end while this is how you can do a condition control loop in visual basic for this particular task let me quickly it will show you this result i'll show you this thing in my vb editor here it is let's just erase uh, the for loop and write down the while loop instead of that so counter must be initialized with a value one then put a while loop sorry it must be one in the next line write down while write down the condition counter must be less than equals to 28 why 28 because you know that in the 10th iteration the counter value goes to 28 so we have a range of counter from 1 till 28 for the 10 iterations console dot right line first you will be displaying the counter value so look here sorry for this counter of oh, console let's write down the output statement console dot write oh, console dot write line and let's just print the counter value provide the counter variable inside your output statement so that you can see its value printed on the screen next just write down the increment statement so that counter value will be incremented to 3 in each iteration plus 3 once you are done with your statements the loop statements you must end your loop so just write down end while this is going to show you the same result as your count controlled loop showed you oh i just made one mistake and i know that i just made a sorry for this i'll just remove this brown bracket from here now let me run this program and see the results okay Look at this. The compilation is successful. You are having a value from 1 till 28. So this is your expected result. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is how we can do activity 8.6 using a count control loop and a condition control loop in Visual Basic. Stay tuned. Stay connected. In the next video, we will do the same activity in Java. Take care. Bye-bye.